Did we make things better or worse? Well, a couple weeks back, we made a video trying to help somebody that had issues with Drop and Funko and the NFT program. Yeah, and not necessarily trying to help one specific person, trying to bring to light a lot of the mistakes that Funko has been making, Funko and Drop, it, basically, Drop is the customer service, Drop is the digital end of their NFT program, and Funko are the people who ship the items out. Even though it does say Drop on the return label, it has been confirmed through someone who has worked at Drop that Funko actually ships the things. You mentioned that we were making a video to sort of bring things to light. We're yeah. trying to communicate and trying to help the community. But this is something we've been doing for a very long time. It is. We've made a lot of videos about this very topic. But recently we haven't talked a crazy amount of trash about them. Because things seem like they're getting a little bit better. Well, they seem like it. But then you find these really weird sort of one-off situations here and there. And a lot of it has to do with Drop's customer service. Big time. Drop won't answer me. How do I get a hold of them? I've tried Discord. I've tried email. Who can I talk to? I've sent them 15 emails in the last six months. When am I going to get a response? And a lot of people have reached out directly to us on Instagram, on YouTube, via email, asking how we could help. And this one person that we made a video on a couple weeks back, I don't know how long ago, when we made that video, it seemed like the very day after he got some traction. I think it was like two days after. Was it two days? Yeah, but it was, I mean, it was like right after. He got some traction. Things look like they're getting better. And this person had an issue for about a year. Like yeah. it was a year long issue. It was two days under a year. So by the time Drop got back to them, it was a year. That, my friends, smells like sh But we brought, um, what's something that smells good? Um, Flowers. No, no, no. Roses? No. no. Uh, Perfume? No, what's the cleaner you use that smells good? Lysol? The, uh, Mr. Clean? Ly Lysol. Lysol? Does that smell Candles? good? Candles? What's the one with the lemony fresh smell? I don't like lemon. No, I know, but it smells good sometimes. That's a Lysol it? one. We use Lysol and we clean this shit up. So we had a hand in it. I think that our video talking about all of the issues helped this situation be brought to light. It helped this one particular person. I don't know if it helped many other people, but I know it helped them. Well, my hope is that it helps other people now that they know what's up. And Same. So basically what happened is the person heard from an employee named Perry, and I have never seen that name before. I might be wrong, but I have the feeling that they're a newer person. Never heard that one before unless they're making up the name. They could be. They could be a made up person. What if it's Patrick trying to be Perry? That's what I'm saying. It's just Patrick with a fake mustache on. <laughs> By the way, Patrick is the person behind Drop. Yeah. For those who do not know. When we make these videos, we, we say all these things expecting that people have been keeping up with this. So if you're watching this video for the first time, the long and short of it is Drop and Funko screwed up big time. And they suck. A person did not get his things for an entire year. We made a video and two days later, Funko Drop and P Preston? Perry. Perry reached out to this person and said, we're going to fix all your problems, bro. And now here we are. Okay, so this person in particular was promised replacement boxes by Drop. Drop gave them the runaround and then stopped responding completely. We put out a video two days later, Drop's like, hey man, we're going to fix this. And how did they fix it? They said that they were going to send him the replacement boxes. Right. And... They offered, never been done before, they offered a $100 credit. Which was mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Considering blowing. that they did not have to do that, they went above no. and beyond, and we praised them. We basically, virtually, licked their tests. We did what that Deadpool and Wolverine popcorn bucket is going to be doing. For a lot of people. To, yeah, Specifically thousands. me thousands for a very extended period of time it's gonna get weird with a mouth that big i can fit my hog balls it's gonna give me a full cleaning service well we got an update this past tuesday and it's, an it's not good we expected boxes to show up and this person to have perfect immaculate crispy boxes and we expected them to receive an email saying they got a 100 credit through drop 
We figure both of those things could happen relatively quickly. You send boxes out, that's not too hard. And, and $100 credit via email, not too hard either. Or just straight to the account. So let's go back to the timeline. We basically talked about this. It looks like the 20th. And on the 22nd, this person heard from Drop. Now it is currently, at the time of this recording, May 31st. Yes. So on May 22nd, Drop said, hey, we're sending you your replacement. We're giving you a $100 credit, blah, blah, blah. Sorry for this. Sorry it's been a whole year. We suck. Goodbye. So this past Tuesday, May 28th, just a mere six days later. Hello, guys. I just received my J with no pants and silent Bob with gas mask box replacements. The boxes were shipped in the normal envelope that is normally used to send out replacements, but they added more protection on the inside. However, the envelope arrived pretty banged up. In my opinion, the way they had shipped the replacements was fantastic, but unfortunately, they still arrived with a little damage. With how well they were packaged, this person believes that they may have been shipped slightly damaged. Oh, they were damaged before they even got to the package. Possibly, but if you look at the package, it's pretty banged up. Oh yeah, it's got so, a little warping in it. Yeah, so my, I mean, it could be either way, because I've seen packages that arrive like immaculate and there's damage, or I've seen the opposite where packages arrive messed up and then the stuff the inside looks is great. Immaculate. Yeah. But he says the damage is pretty small that after waiting over a year to receive them, I'm just happy they were sent out and I wasn't just ignored. Well, they were until Perry came along. Save the day. Well, before... Okay, before the gas cast came along... Right. ...and allowed Perry to save the day. Perry, listen up, Buttercup. We got a bigger problem now. Why the f*** are you calling him Buttercup? Listen up, Butter... F Is that too hard? <laughs> okay. I am grateful for you guys speaking out about this issue regardless of whether it is a coincidence or not, meaning the timing of the video and then the email. Because he... If I can refresh your memory, he hadn't heard from Drop since October. Right, exactly. It is nearly June. So it could have been us, or it may have not been. It most likely. But pretty much it's was. us. Items should not take over a year to get replaced. 100%. I also want to add that I have not received the $100 in mm. USDC that was promised. Perry, what the fuck? What's up, what bro? What is going on, Perry? What's up? What are you doing? You're dropping the ball again? You better hope that you were like gone for Memorial Day weekend or something on like an extended vacation cause we're about to soil your name. So I really hope- We're soiling his name? Perry, you better fix this. Perry's just doing his job. What if he's just like the new guy and he was tasked with doing this? Okay. Oh, Perry, you're, you're, you're demolishing Perry. Don't, I don't promise like someone a hundred dollars if you're not gonna give him a hundred dollars. Well, maybe he hasn't done it yet. So I said, have they still not sent you the hundred dollars? Because remember, they contacted us on Tuesday. It's currently Friday. Right. They have not. I reached out to Perry on the 28th to follow up and I received no reply. Not again. They are most likely out of the office for family things because it's a week where Memorial Day falls on. You know, you got Monday off. A lot of people take off and go on vacations. Let's just say, benefit of the doubt right now, we're not really going to know until next week if something actually really Why? does happen with that $100 credit. Why didn't they send it as soon as he sent that email? Hey, we're going to make it up to you. You have $100 in your drop wallet, and I'm sending your replacements out. Maybe it's coming out of Perry's pocket. Perry has to earn that money first. Maybe Perry is out on the streets showing some feet earning he's earning so he can get this person paid their 100 dollars credit yeah i don't think it works like that i'm sure that drop is able to give these credits out all i'm saying is as of right now i am not happy okay first off i'm not happy because we made a video it seemed like things were really going in a positive direction things are working out and then the person received damage boxes which we don't know if it's the, by fault of drop and funko or not we're not entirely sure of that Additionally, they didn't get their $100 credit thing. Yeah, and that's well, ridiculous. I mean, come on. You're right. But benefit of the doubt. So the opposite side of things. It maybe it's been, because of Memorial Day and maybe yeah. Ace Ventura is the one who delivered the package. It could be. And the good news is he did say that it was a standard envelope that they make that they normally ship stuff in. However, it had extra protection inside. So that's a plus. But if 
what this person is speculating could be a possibility that they were shipped that way, that's a problem. But hopefully they weren't. Hopefully it was just whoever delivered the package right. messed it up. I don't like I don't like that. Very concerned over this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Look, every time we think it's going in a positive direction, Drop and Funko fart directly in our face and force our mouths to be open for it. And that's a problem. It is a very big problem. I don't like breathing in farts and I don't like eating farts. But that's what they have us doing over here on the Gasselcast. You don't? You ask me to do that every once in a while. Every night. Every single night. You say bring that shiny honey over here. So what's the end result? What's gonna happen here? I don't know. I, we'll probably have to have another follow-up video. But I mean, this is the so far. I figured by the last video, that person would have been totally straightened out, pristine boxes, $100 credit, all good to go, rocking and rolling. And then we will be making a video praising Drop, praising Funko, licking the tests. But here we are again in another scenario where things are screwed up and we're having to complain about it. I hate this. I hate it. You said what's next or what's going to happen next or whatever you said. Hey, Perry. Whoa. What happens next? Did you happen to see the new Funko NFT drop? I glanced at it. It is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Good ridiculous or bad? A horrible, horrible ridiculous. Really? Yeah. So what it is are a bunch of suits that would be found in the Batcave. They're superhero gear. They're superhero gear, all hanging up. Well, and then you have Alfred guy? cleaning house. What is this? Yeah, this is weird. It, it reminds me of Zordon. It reminds you of Zordon. It reminds me of trash and what's interesting is that i thought that dc fans would be going crazy over this but they're not they're not liking this and most people are like what is this about uh what i hate funko all over again the fact that these our nft drop is an effing joke so some people seem to be okay about it but for the most part i noticed a lot of negativity the suits almost have it's like they're clear yeah. Because it's being held. But the, the weird thing is, is why would there be hair? Like, why is the hair there? Yeah. Like, why not have a little stand or something? It's, it's just weird. Like, it's there bizarre. shouldn't be any hair. It should just be, like, a 3D model of a, of a male or female. These guys, like, glow in the dark, so that's kind of cool. What if it's a mannequin? They just look strange to me. It looks like they're a bunch of invisible people wearing costumes. It's bizarre. Right? Can I read some of the good comments? Those are freaking cool. Fire emoji. Best Batman pops ever. Fire emoji heart. That Love garbage, all of them. Garbage. Amazing set. And it's funny that Alfred is just cleaning. Mm. They always drop the heat on NFT pops man. Better question. Will we be able to remove the suits? What? What? They want to know if they can remove the suits off Why of those plastic bodies. That? that is so weird. I don't know what they're talking about there. Let's not worry about what other people are saying. What do you think about them? I like that they are innovative. I don't like that there is a whole set of them. With Iron Man, they had like the suits of armor, right? And all it is is a suit of armor. Yeah. You have your Spider-Man. They did like a suit of armor for that as well. Well, keep in you mind, You have your armors. Though, it's just armors. Listen, what what is keep, this? Keep in mind, though, they these characters have masks, more or less, where Spider-Man, like, it's the whole body. Oh, I know. Body. But that's why it makes sense, and that's why it's good. What you just said is the reason why they're bad. I mean, it's better than, like, a third set of characters that nobody wants. I don't know if anybody wants this. I mean, maybe a couple. There were, like... Four or five positive comments I just Somebody read. Somebody says quite unique, and they put a winky face. I don't know what that means, and I don't like you winking at me. What is the number count on Alfred? What is it? 999. Somebody says it's 222. Alfred apparently is the grail. Okay, so they have two, 2,200 pieces for legendaries. They have another one that's like the, the past Ultra? Scooby. Ultra, but it's Batman. And then they have a Freddy Funko as Nightwing, 2,400 pieces. And it says Arkham Asylum, and everybody's saying it's not from Arkham Asylum. The Batman is from the new Batman, I think, Adventures. And it looks like Alfred is from Batman the Animated Series. The other ones look like they're from, I don't know, it just has a Batman logo. I don't know what they're from. But anyway, they all glow in the dark, and they're all stupid, and they're all dumb, and, and nobody likes fun. them. There's one person out there who's like, this is kind of cool. I think this is kind of fun. And then the rest of the people are like, this is so stupid. And what are they doing? This is trash. You're trash. And trash. You're trash. It's trash. I don't like them. I think they're dumb. I think they're interesting. I don't love them, but I think they're interesting. They're weird. That's what a parent says about their least favorite child. I thought my dad just really found me unique. We didn't fix a problem. 
and a new NFT set came out that sucks. No, we helped a problem and Perry didn't fix it. Look, Perry, I'm on your side, buddy. I just want you to know that you have a real enemy over here. You are Batman to her Joker. Wait, I, am I, I the Joker or is Perry the Joker? Because I did he it because said because the Batman theming, Heather. Yeah, but is Perry the Joker or is it me? Because Perry is the one playing a joke on our friend on our Instagram. We want to know what you think about our story and how we helped somebody and then didn't help them and now we look like <laughs> We'd like to know your thoughts on that. And then what about the hundred dollar credit? Do you think they'll ever see it? And then how about the damaged boxes? Doesn't that suck? And also what about those Batman Funko Pops? Aren't they stupid? Let us know all of that in the comment section down below. And if you say that you like those Funko Pops, you are also stupid. Thanks. That's mean. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons on Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Veronica Knotts, Harley Malk, Donald Lomax, Marcus Gonzalez, Nathan Maidman, Devontae McFarlane, Wayne Garber, Sean Green, Star Rosas, and March Attack. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you want to join our Patreon and show your support to the channel, check out patreon.com slash gasocast. There you can find out all the ways that you can support and the cool things that you get in return. And I will tell you the number one reason is our Google Meets that we do every single month where we do giveaways. We show you upcoming Mischief Toys products that haven't been seen by anybody else. It is a whole lot of fun to hang out with you guys. So come and check out patreon.com slash gasocast. And if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. You don't want to miss our new content and you definitely don't want to miss our lives. We have a blast during those lives. Come and hang with us every Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern. All right, that's all we got for you for this episode. Thank you so much for staying until the end and have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.